So adapt, I will give you this. Ooh. This is coming <laughs> off of me being demoted and suspended within an hour. What? What? Wait, yes. what's your rank now? If I, if I may ask. Senior officer currently. But I am suspended pending reveal of employment. Can I be honest with you? For a moment, on personal note. Uh you're yeah. the only person that I am 100% confident should be high command. The only person. Holy shit. Well, I appreciate that, but apparently... Are you getting Moss a panel review? Are... High command panel review? It'd be pretty one-sided if it was. Um, I'm saying, are you getting one pending it? Like, they're suspending you pending a high command panel review where... That's what happened to me. And then they march you in a room and, and you're supposed to explain yourself, but their minds were made up before you even walked in the door. <sighs> Honestly, I... They they haven't mentioned the High Command panel. They just told me, like, suspended pending, like, High Command review. Wow. Wow. I I will let you two talk. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll dip like a potato chip. Daft. Uh, dip like a potato chip. I love that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I will say, however, <clears throat> yeah, that uh, my where, where, where my contracts? Oh yeah, okay. I'll call you after this, and I'll get them over to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, right. Daft. Also, for the record, is r real quick, Calista, just just so you're aware, I'm paying triple what you're fucking paying, but it's <clears> fine. <throat> All right. <clears throat> triple. <laughs> Okay, but you know my contracts are worth it. My contracts are worth it, Daft, because you will never get we'll fucked find in court. Out. I haven't within. seen them yet. Yeah, but we'll you find will. Out. No one's ever get fucked in contract <laughs> that I wrote for them. I want to say that. All right, let me know if you if right. you free later, okay? We'll do. Love you, Daft. Be well. Love drive you, safe. Bye. So holy shit. Yes, please smoke. Oh, you're just fucking weird. Sorry, I assumed it was fine. Oh, it absolutely no, it is. I mean, there's a there's an ashtray. There's an ashtray. Um. So the here's the ten thousand. So yeah. So tell me what happened. All right. So I don't know how familiar you are with the new chief for assistant chief, but um. I know Peters ish. Um. Don't really know Moss. She showed up to help Bobby Charles with a court case. Um. Seem to not understand. Oh, thank you. Seem to not understand uh, <laughs> the angle I was going for and what I was doing entirely. And she showed up for the civil case too. And Bobby got fined ten thousand uh, dollars for punitive damages for entrapment. Um, so that's been the extent of my interactions with her. Has been in court. So, I guess to start it from the beginning. Um... I looked at some reports from Moss. Um, she was a part of the skeleton crew, but her reports stopped around Christmas time. Um, her reports didn't pick so up like again until she was appointed. She was around for a week. Sorry, I just... don't know. I don't know when the first report was written, but she was part of the skeleton crew. Mm. Um, December twenty fourth, I think, was the last report. I got hired on January twenty seventh. Um have not heard of a single word about her throughout like my entire career but um hmm. she came huh. back around roughly about a month and a half ago i'd like to say or like a month ago so right around the election right around there yep um we were just hiring or just interviewing people to for our next academy Hold on, I need one of the people that was selected um just talked about how she would be kind of like fast track to ppo as a past experience, I didn't realize that meant that she had been part of the PD like prior. But then she got appointed chief of police. So somebody that to a majority of the LSPD had no idea who they were, got appointed chief of police. Which I, I admit was, personally, uh, I felt like it was kind of like a slap in the face. I was awake that day, crazily, randomly. And I saw on Twitter the chorus of who's when the state announcement went out. So yeah, that was that was kind of I feel like the start of it. Okay. Um, she then chose Tyler Peters. I guess ultimately, like I, 
with everything going on, I've started like getting some details together for an impeachment case. Because these issues oh. have been brought up with Moss, and Moss is not doing anything about Peters with that. Oh my god. Wait, wait, say it again? Wait, so Ma Peters issues Moss not doing anything? Is she, has she even, like, helped cover it up or make excuse? Sis? She's been defending him. Okay, so she's not even willing to listen to anybody's takes about him. So, we had a command meeting yesterday. Like, I'm telling you this in confidentiality. No, 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 no. Um, this, is, this is lawyer, attorney-client privilege. I can't speak a word about this or I can lose my bar. And No offense, but nobody else's tea is worth me losing my job. No, that's completely fair. Um, so, I completely forgot where I was just at. Oh, the command meeting. Yeah, command um, meeting. We had several members of command, like, voice their concerns with Peters. Um, she defended, like, every single one of them. She, she felt that Peters is doing a good job, so I feel like Peters is being protected. And I do feel like that's doubled down by the fact that um, like, obviously, with the legislation, the mayor chooses the chief of police. But I also feel like he indirectly forced the, like, the assistant chief of police pick as well. Because in that same command meeting, I had heard that Viv was supposed to get chief, but she fell out of favor. But before she was, like, fell out of favor, she was given a piece of paper with names on it. And those names are supposed to be, like, picks for assistant chief. Mm. So, uh, I would say I it's... am well aware of what happened with Vivian Gray, and it is fucked. The lack of professional courtesy that was extended to her. Well, there's a lack of professionalism with like this entire high command. Mm. Um, to start off with some of the issues, um, like I I had some shit happen where I had to fly back home for like roughly a week. I wasn't really around a whole lot, but when I came back, um, McNulty had transferred to the VCSO, citing that everything that in the past six months that he's done has been just completely wiped. Um, Bay told me that she transferred due to lack of communication, but upon speaking to some other people, apparently she had written LSPD SOPs for Air One, and then Moss told her that she had to run that by Nino to get approval. Um, Bradford, he decided that there was a lack of communication and that he did not agree with the certifications being split between departments, which there was a lack of communication definitely with that because certifications were not being split, but, um, and then there was the entire thing with Loki. What thing with Loki? Um... Peters apparently was making some jokes about BCSO. Um, I don't know if Peters is actively trying to push like BCSO out of the city or not, but Loki thought that it was unprofessional and wanted to discipline some of the officers that were doing the same joke. But I don't know who he, who he made the comment to, but he made the comment saying that he felt like uncomfortable pressing that discipline on officers when the assistant chief is also aiding in it. Um, oh my he, God. Loki then got yelled at for that, saying that he was a snake and a traitor. Um, Wait, that sounds like he was just being honest about his opinion and he got called a snake and a traitor? Yep. Um, if I you told don't that agree I felt like that was very perfectly, then you're evil. Sorry, I'm just like thinking about like what the fuck the mentality is behind that. Sorry, continue. Well, I spoke to Peters and Moss after that, and I told them that I felt like that was very unprofessional from high command. I feel like we need to be, like, even even if it's in a private setting like that, as command to command, I feel like that needs to be a little bit more professional. Um, he held no accountability, no remorse. Um, he, after I told him my opinions on that, he pretty much told me, um, okay, I guess I'll just take that. And just didn't say anything else after that. Um, today, well, shortly after that meeting, I went and spoke to Bones and just generally asked, like, how is it working with them? Like, what can I expect working with them? Um, asked them, like, what were some of the reasons that people had for transferring? Just trying to get a feel for the department because I had been gone for a month. 
or a week, sorry. Um, it's okay. After that, um, today, I got called up to talk with Moss and Peters. I got yelled at, saying that I was going behind backs, so I was being negative. Um, that if I had a problem with somebody, that I should speak with them about it when I was just trying to talk with people about why they were transferring, stuff like that, and try to get a feel for Peters. But a lot of the answers seem to kind of go back to Peters, which is what I told him. Like, I, you know me, like, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a product of McNulty. I, I feel like I've <laughs> formed, like, a, a very blunt... I'm a product of McNulty. <laughs> Well, I feel like I formed a very <laughs> blunt, like, edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, on, totally. On no, totally. Like, I understood what you meant implicitly by you saying that. It's just such a, and, it's just a good expression. And with that being said, I I look Peters in the eye and I tell him, like, I feel like you're unfit for commands. Like, I feel like you're very unprofessional. I feel like you make a lot of unprofessional jokes. And he had a couple of command reports that I felt like were very, very unfitting. And a boss then jumped at me saying, well, I am the chief. Like, this is my department. I feel like Peters is doing a fantastic job as chief. Um, they, did, they then started, like, asking me, like, well, what are some things that you see wrong? I gave them pretty much all the issues that I gave you. And they deflected everyone, feeling that, saying that, like, McNulty and Bay and all of them wanted the transfer, like, from the get-go. And yeah, basically we're we're here. Um, they demoted me to a senior during that first talk. Um, I went out on patrol. I called Avery up because I was working with her about trying to get our training a little bit better. Uh -huh. um, shortly after that conversation, I got through on one saying again, like, Val, we need to talk. So I went back up for the second meeting. Um, it was basically just a round of them yelling at me, feeling like saying that I was bringing a lot of negative attitude or energy. Which I don't think I was like I, I I was talking to a lot of officers, but like I was trying to trying to fix the LSPD, trying to get like the car issues, stuff like that. Um, they dismissed me for a second time. Um, I went downstairs, I had parked my car because I was about to go 42 because it's extremely late, and honestly, I should have been in bed like three hours ago. But they called me up for a third time. I went up there. After screaming um, at you? Yep. They oh told God. me that. They pretty much asked me, like, do you want to be in the LSPD? I told them yes. Um, I don't remember verbatim exactly what Tyler said, or Peter said. But it was something along the lines of, like, do you want to be in LSPD because BCSO won't take you? And wow. I will admit, I, that stung. Like, there's history between Bones and I. That hit hard. That hit I deep. hate Bones. I... I'm not the biggest fan of him either, but... I mean, he victim blamed me for getting kidnapped and tortured, Callista. He told me it was a he-said-she-said said situation and then blamed what I was wearing. He blamed Wait, a what? woman. Yes! Bones did that to me in my high command panel review. That's the reason I got undeputized. I mean, it's not like the only reason, yeah, but like Bones is such a fucking that. cunt to me. He literally said, he literally blamed what I was wearing for me getting kidnapped. A man blamed what a woman was wearing for her getting abducted. And that man is the sheriff, so. And then, yeah, he told me it was my word versus theirs. Yeah. Um, a lawyer and the I'm chief of staff's word means nothing versus that of three convicted terrorists or two convicted terrorists or whatever. The sheriff said that. So I, I hate Bones too, so you're in good company here. <laughs> He's not... Um, he is not a considerate nor a thoughtful person. No, he speaks his mind, which is one of the things I respect, but he's lost a lot of respect due to that too. Uh, speaking your mind is one thing, being an asshole for no reason is another. Okay, I was thought that if you can't say something nice, you shouldn't say anything at all. You know what I mean? You can deliver bad news and, and feedback, criticism even, and not be an asshole about it. Um, yeah, so, I mean, he's a victim blamer in the PD. Um, 
and in a leadership position, which tells me well, that he, when people come to him that I, have problems, you yeah, go ahead. Another thing too is that he more or less told me, kind of this probably isn't word for word, but mm -hmm. he more or less told me that he doesn't see a reason for there to be an LSPD chef too. Which at this point, there's only two senior officers and maybe like one or two officers. And that's it. All the rest are PPOs yeah. and dads. Holy shit. I mean, is he entirely wrong when that's the reality? Oh my god. No, but when you also demote and suspend like one Everybody. of those active. And yeah, yeah, you. Like as it sits right now, technically there's three seniors and one sergeant. Becker hasn't been around for like a week or two. And Ruby and Avery have been killing it. Um, I've I've tried working on problems, but I mean we're here now. But I guess the issue is that is that like I was working on in, like a foundation for impeachment a couple of days ago. I I want to stick to my guns because I honestly I feel like nobody else has the spine to stand up for what they think is right. But I also don't. Looking, I you. At, looking at the optics, I don't know if it's um still the best play if it comes from me because it looked like it it might look like it's um disgruntled former employee. Yes. I mean, I'm thinking in my mind if, if I was them, that's what I'd castigate you as. I would castigate you uh, one hundred percent as a disgruntled former employee, upset that they couldn't do, um, you know, the bare minimum, and this is their temper tantrum, blah blah blah. I'm just like saying that's that's. No, that's I agree. I, I feel do, like they're right? definitely gonna try to paint that picture. Um. Now here's the thing: if you are wrongfully terminated, right, for lack of a better phrase, um, that's that's the same playbook. That is the same playbook employers use when they wrongfully terminate people. But the facts and evidence, you know, are generally not in their favor. Well, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Depends on how good you are at covering your ass. Um, but I feel like... It's, I'm gonna be honest, I've seen so many people in sheriff uniforms or in LSPD, it feels like everybody got the fuck out. It feels like, it feels, it, it, from the outside looking in, it looks like a bunch of people fucking got off the lifeboats while the Titanic was sinking while they still could, and everybody else who is left, there's no more lifeboats. There are no more rafts. There might not even be a fucking life jacket. Uh... Which I, for me, it's I like I feel like I'm in a very poor spot because I feel like I hold a lot of respect can they? for we don't have, they, people. They can they when at will employment is no like, longer I know legislated. That there's gonna be some names that you don't recognize, but like Pike, Shields, um, Ah, uh, Youngblood. There's still a lot of people that look up at me. Like when I, I'll admit I might have been a little petty. I might have been a little bit emotional when I went off duty because I did 301 saying 252, 142. Um, pending suspension or something like that. I had a lot of people call me after that, but. Yeah, fire at will is removed. At will employment it, legislation is I, I don't know. I, they I can guess be I'm just impeached. For guidance. But it doesn't like, say fire. There's a case there. <laughs> Bell, I'm going to bring up something for you that's going to be kind of crazy. So they got rid of the at will employment legislation, right? The DOJ did. With at, without at will employment, they technically can't fire you. Like, technically, that's like a breach of contract and we can sue the PD for it. Or like a breach of agreement. It also means technically people can't quit. <laughs> it's a weird thing. Well, I mean, I told them that I... I want to see LSPD thrive, and I feel like I, everything I'm about to say is what I told them. I feel like okay. they are actively trying to tear it apart. Mm -hmm. um, I did tell them that I was like forming a case for impeachment, like which probably might not have been the smartest idea. But you told them that. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, keep going. Um. Yeah, pretty much I told them that I feel like they were unfit. Both of them, I... It was more so against Peters, but with Moss kind of like defending Peters, I... I feel like she is just as much to blame. Can I ask, wait, so it was impeachment for Peters? Originally, yes. Okay, and did you switch it to somebody else? Honestly, I feel like both of them are equally as bad. Oh, damn. Hold on, music. Morale in shift two. You ask any LSPD officer in shift two, morale is down terribly. I've actually never like seen you, the PD so fucking down bad, though. You have seen, or you have Ruby, Avery, and myself, who I feel like on any day we're cheerful, but it's, it's, it's bad. She was demoted and suspended. Like, I, I feel like I'm pretty professional when it comes to stuff like that. I, it's, we're in a very dire spot, but I, I try not to let other officers see it. Like, I try to push that whole envelope of it's, everything's going to be all right. That wears on a person, though, if you don't believe it. Telling people that it's going to well, be okay when you're not even sure of that yourself, you know? I mean, it's... I will admit, past couple of days, like, especially within the past two or three hours, it's... Looking more and more or less doubtful. But... Do you think me, any of the remaining officers would be willing to sign on to a statement of no confidence in their chief of police? See, that's what I was thinking about doing. I, the impeachment thing doesn't mention anything about no It doesn't need to. Though. That's not, it's not about that. The lack of no confidence like thing, like attestation is like no confidence due to gross incompetence or dereliction of duty. Either way, it has resulted in an LSPD that is dysfunctional, if not non-functional. If that's not gross incompetence or a dereliction of duty, then I don't know what the fuck is. If you can make a department so bad that it is essentially defunct and that isn't impeachable, then nothing is. And the whole system was just designed as a fucking fake bullshit. Sorry, I hate this government. This is a temporary government in my eyes because we're headed for civil war, Bell, and then then whoever wins will remake the government again and probably get rid of the two counties. So. <sighs> Honestly, I wouldn't doubt it. That's how it was designed. It's inevitable. It's just a question of when, not if. I know because they took out the provisions and the legislation like updates that I had written to remand the constitution to prevent that from happening. The things like a governor, things like a congressional legislative body between both, they took that all the way and they left it with a thing that would only end in civil war. Do you have a notebook with you? I do. Shift one and shift three don't really like interact with high command that much. It is just shift two. Also, you spelled this functional wrong. All right, I copied these from a driver report I had. Like people's opinions are valid just because you don't. Those share are some them. of the notes I had. Okay. Um. I guess one big thing too. Um, how, how familiar are you with the Sky Fae, like, document? Oh, I, um, I looked at it, but I didn't, like, read anything because I didn't want to, uh, you know, invade Sky's privacy like that. Father Peters didn't think that was... I don't think it's a constitutional rights violation. I do think that it was incredibly bad form. I think that... Sky talked to me about this. I don't think what he did is a constitutional rights violation. What I do think it is, is unprofessional. 
and not just unprofessional. Um, it shows a severe lack of respect for Sky's privacy, right? I understand it's out there, but going through and reading through her information, uh, did he talk to other people about it? From what I can tell, you brought it up in a PD meeting. What? You brought up her private things in a PD meeting? To, okay, no, she might have said I, it to me, but I did not remember that. That's crazy. So he brought up her private text, her it, private but... info that he looked at, right, that was, like, published out there, and, like, brought it up in a meeting. I was just told by some people that, like, she was pulled to the side after, I guess, talking about it. I don't know details on it, but... Um, so imagine, but that is imagine every... your manager was reading through your emails, okay? Like your private emails, and he pulls it up at a company meeting and like reads your emails to everybody. That's Gross. essentially like it sounds like essentially like what he did. Um, that's an HR that's... complaint. That's an HR no, complaint. That's fucked. That's fucked, and that's essentially what happened to her, right? That's an HR complaint. All right, well, anyways, it is, like, way past my bedtime. Um, so, that is Bell, are more you looking what I have. for, like, a wrongful termination case? Or do you want me to carry your impeachment flag for you? I haven't really been wrongfully terminated yet. I'm still Right, suspended. but we would get ready for that. We would need to get ready for that, because if that's what you wanted, because I think you might be heading for that, and if that is the case, I'm going to advise you to do some very specific things. I'm going to ask that you have ask high command to have all communications with you in writing regarding your employment status. And if they ask why, you tell them for documentation purposes. That's it. You are within your rights to ask for that. You are 100% within your rights. They should not deny that. If you are wanting to have communication regarding your employment or the status of your employment documented, there is nothing against that. And if they start acting weird and shady at that point, ask them, why don't you want this documented? And okay, you memorize every fucking word of their response and you come back to me. All right. Okay. Because <laughs> whatever their answer is, it's going to be fucking damning if they don't want it documented. Right? Regardless. The fact that they don't want something like that documented. Um... Oh, I just I would just love to rake them across the coals in court about that scenario and whatever those communications were. Could you imagine how bad it would look for them? So Hold you can on, answer Mr. that. Hello. Hello. Uh speaking with the lawyer. Um, I mean we're more or less done, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're pretty right, much done. Yeah, no, I'm free to talk. Do you want me to open the door? Or do you want to, like, we'll finish up in a sec. Uh, yeah, I'll start driving back. Um, so I was called in. Bye, Bill. Don't worry. Bye bye. I will help you. All right, thank you. Okay. I appreciate you. My pleasure. Even though you tried to Mirandize me when I was doing a witness statement and it seemed like you were trying to fucking snake and take some sort of fucking interrogation shit for slack shit that I declined being interrogated about. Even though you did all of that, and even though I think you secretly shit-talked Max and I behind our backs, even though I'm pretty 99% certain you did in fact do all of those things. I will help you. Because I protect even those I hate, so long as it is right. 